The straight line. Slope or gradient of a straight line. The slope of a line is defined as the ratio of the change in ordinates to the change in abscissae. Let A, x1, y1 and B, x2, y2 be any two points in the Cartesian plane. Let theta be the inclination of AB with the x-axis. Slope of AB is equal to change in ordinates by change in abscissae. That is equal to change in y values by change in x values. That is equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. The symbol for slope is m. Therefore, m is equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. In the right angle triangle ABC, tan theta is equal to BC by AC, that is equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. Therefore, m is equal to tan theta. The slope of a line is given as m is equal to tan theta. Slope of a straight line. The slope of a line is positive if it makes an acute angle in the anti-clockwise direction with the x-axis. In both the figures, the slope of the line is positive. For example, if theta is equal to 60 degrees, tan theta is equal to tan 60, that is equal to root 3, which is positive. The slope of a line is negative if it makes an obtuse angle in the anti-clockwise direction with the x-axis or if it makes an acute angle in the clockwise direction with the x-axis. In both these figures, the slope of the line is negative. For example, if theta is equal to 120 degrees, tan theta is equal to minus tan alpha, that is equal to minus tan 60 degrees, is equal to minus root 3, which is negative. Slope of the x-axis and the y-axis. m is equal to tan theta, where m denotes the slope of the line. Theta denotes the inclination of the line with the x-axis. For the x-axis, theta is equal to 0 degrees. Therefore, m is equal to tan 0. Therefore, m is equal to 0. Therefore, the slope of the x-axis is 0. For the y-axis, theta is equal to 90 degrees. Therefore, m is equal to 1090. m is not defined. Therefore, slope of the y-axis is not defined. Parallel and perpendicular lines. Parallel lines. Let AB and CD be two parallel lines making angles theta1 and theta2 with the x-axis respectively. Theta1 is equal to theta2. Since AB is parallel to CD, they are corresponding angles. Therefore, tan theta1 is equal to tan theta2. Therefore, M1 is equal to M2, where M1 and M2 denote the slopes of the lines AB and CD respectively. Therefore, if two lines are parallel, their slopes are equal. Example. If the slope of a line is 2, then the slope of the parallel line is also 2. Perpendicular lines. Let AB and CD be two perpendicular lines making angles theta1 and theta2 with the x-axis respectively. Theta2 is equal to 90 degrees plus theta1 by the exterior angle property of a triangle. Therefore, tan theta 2 is equal to tan 90 degrees plus theta 1. That is equal to minus cot theta 1. Since tan 90 degrees plus theta is equal to minus cot theta. That is equal to minus 1 by tan theta 1. Therefore, m2 is equal to minus 1 by m1. Where m1 and m2 denote the slopes of lines AB and CD respectively. 
Therefore, if two lines are perpendicular, the product of their slopes is minus 1. Example, if the slope of a line is 1 by 2, then the slope of its perpendicular is minus 2. Equation of a straight line. Consider a straight line making an inclination of theta with the x-axis. Let P x comma y be any point on the given line. Let the line cut the y-axis at a point A. Let the coordinates of A be 0 comma C where C is a constant. From the figure, PQ is equal to y minus C, AQ is equal to x. Tan theta is equal to PQ by AQ, that is equal to y minus C by x. Therefore, M is equal to y minus c by x. Therefore, y minus c is equal to mx. y is equal to mx plus c. y is equal to mx plus c is called the slope-intercept form of the line. Go through the given examples.